banded decline dumbbell bench press. So step one is to take a band in my palms, wrap it around my back so that I'm able to press. And then I'm going to grab my dumbbells and I'm simply going to get into a decline position. You can either do that by having a decline bench or elevating the spot where you put your butt on the bench. So I've used a box here to elevate a normal flat bench. But again, if you have a decline bench, you can use that. What this band is going to do is it's a progression of a traditional decline dumbbell bench because there's added tension to the top range of motion. I'm still going to use my traditional form while doing a decline bench in that I want my elbow to travel away from my body. I want to keep them slightly tucked in. I want to think about wrapping my shoulder blades around the bench. I want to think about bringing my wrists over my elbows at the bottom and at the top I want my wrists over my elbows over my shoulders and I want to fully lengthen at the top range of motion squeezing through my elbows when I'm doing a banded decline dumbbell bench.